process how these grown women lay down, spread their legs open for Brazilian wax, and let a child do it. And no matter how I wrap my head around it, I simply cannot fathom it. I want to see every one of those women arrested and put on the sex offender list. Because you have to be one messed up individual to literally lay down and do that. And at this point, there's just no telling what you're willing to do. But I really want to talk to the mother because really the mother, she is a piece of work. Now Child Protective Services is investigating the mother as they should, but I want to make sure y'all don't don't forget to circle back to everybody else. <laughs> Police, don't forget to circle back to those women just in case y'all y'all lose track of the goal here. She needs to go to jail and in this round, here's Quanell X. Charles, a shocking story coming out about a mother who is obviously some type of beautician and she gives Brazilian waxes. And she went on social media bragging about how her daughter, her five-year-old daughter, had helped her to give these Brazilian waxes and that her child had made several hundred dollars in the process. It angered me and disgusted me that any mother would allow her five-year-old child to get between the naked, butt-naked legs of another female and give her any type of wax, any type of service. Every woman that laid down and allowed that child to give them a wax should be locked up and charged. The mother should be arrested and charged also. I am not an advocate for family services taking children from parents. In fact, I'm counter that. But in this case, I don't think this mother's qualified to guarantee us that she'll protect that baby from such egregious, sickful, sick, sinful behavior as what was witnessed on social media with pictures and videos of a child giving grown women waxes. That upset me, Charles. I remember when I was 13 and I gave a couple of Brazilian waxes, but I was 13 and I had to learn to teach myself on the job training. So you get the wax. Mm -hmm. But what was this little part? Excuse me? What was this little part? It's a part of the wax. Okay. But okay. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. But go ahead. You, you, you were giving Brazilians out when you were 13? Yeah, I gave some. Your mom, Brazilian. her friends, I, who? Well, one was my mom's friend. Okay. She got drunk. You think that, oh, she got drunk, so she you sexually drunk. assaulted her when you were 13. Her you, name was Mona. Do you think, okay. Her name do was Mona. Do you think Mona. she should be in prison? Who, Mona? Yeah. No, I, w I wasn't upset about that. Did you think? I was angry that when she sobered up, I couldn't give them no more waxes. Okay. I have well, to be honest. Here, here's the thing. You know, it's a, this is probably, let's mark it down, viewers. This is the first time that Quan Al did not refer to an African-American woman. It's the focus of the story as sister whatever. And he's actually calling for consequences for her. And I would say that I disagree at least with some of it. First of all, the sex offender registry. You know, as a policeman, I investigated pedophiles. The sex offender registry is just for pedophiles. In fact, we put too many teenagers and people in their young 20s for statutory rape, we, we label them for life as sex offenders and it's inappropriate. Well, certainly these women, right, that went in to get wax jobs, there's nothing to suggest that they did it in a sexualized manner or they were even aware that the girl was going to be involved in the process. Now, but this when does they take, knew? Oh, okay, this does take it to a whole other level of bring your daughter to work day. But the truth is these Brazilian waxes, they're not supposed to be sexualized. It's not supposed to be a sexual manner. It, it, I think it's gross. I think it's inappropriate. But and when you talk about so not you don't saying, think you know, women should be charged? The, the, no, absolutely not. Who allowed not. a five-year-old girl not. to get between their legs, butt that, naked, I and think, give them a Brazilian I wax? I think that we should have, and all African-American women, to my understanding, absolutely not. I don't think any of them should be charged. I do think the mother should be subjected to a parenting plan and counseling. No, to hear what parenting plan. She right? needs a jail no, plan. There are parents. You talk about, I don't like CPS taking kids. CPS often fails to take kids that are getting horrifyingly abused. You know who they fail the most? Young black children, right? And we also force so many black children inappropriately into the foster system. We have all of these problems, right? What isn't a problem is, is this young beautician bringing her, try to involve her daughter in her workspace. Now, it was a bad idea. So what's next, gross. Charles? If she stooped this low at five years well, old, 
What would she do at seven, eight, nine, but and ten? But it's not supposed to be. A, a I wax, don't trust this mother. That's a disgrace. Sexual. And her mama need a, her ass wax, whooped. Hey, I think the and all those women, needs, grown women, who let that child do that to them, she needs need their ass parenting whooped. Classes. I disagree with she that. She needs to get on a parenting plan. CPS yes. needs to be involved. I know a parenting but plan. We don't need prison. Get a belt. We don't need and sex whoop her offender ass all the way to we the jail cell. We don't need to be whooped to a jail cell. Here's someone that was so involved with their work and their child. And that's another thing we have a real problem in America, right? We talk about, you know, Republicans, oh, we're going to do away with abortion. Now they're doing away with IVF based on the Bible there in Alabama. It's craziness. But Republicans don't want to help young struggling mothers with daycare and other services to encourage poor people of all races to have children, right? This mother probably doesn't have the option of putting this child in daycare. It's probably inappropriate. But that mother did her. bragging about how much money the child she made. She obviously did She's not. She's a damn pimp. She obviously. That mama's no, a pimp. No, it wasn't sexual. That's what she is. If you look at the You video, let your five year old daughter get butt naked I, I, between the legs of grown women? The daughter wasn't butt naked. No, the women were butt naked. Right. And her daughter between their legs, butt naked, touching their private parts. Right. Actually, How I in would, the hell? That's not I pedophilia. That just, is child pedophilia. I assume she was just touching the wax strips. And just because you, when Charles, you were 13, apparently Charles, went too when far you do with a, a Brazilian drunk person, wax. apparently you sexually assaulted someone at 13 with How, wax. Charles? Well, she was drunk. You just she said she, awake, she didn't Charles. let you do it. She was wide awake, Charles. Okay. Because she was telling me, you could, you could, you could come up that part right there. Go down right there. there. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there, right there. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Did you get lost? Are you okay? Can we bring it back to the show to the yeah. listeners here? I, I mean, I don't, I don't, get, I don't know how anyone does. I'll tell you, just the thought of a Brazilian makes my beehole clench up. I don't know how anybody doing it. Yeah, right? But see, but What's see, wrong with a razor? But see, but see, a razor gets this smooth, see, ball see, head you smooth. Got that light, you got that lassie oh, that, hair. That uh, you got that lassie hair. Okay. You remember so lassie? So I got the lassie you remember, hair. You remember lassie? I do remember lassie. You remember lassie? You got that lassie hair. Okay. Is that another? See, see, see. You ain't got this kind of hair. You see that? There? I don't know if that hair's real, see, man. That, that looks oh, like LeBron's real, hair. Real, but that look. looks like LeBron's hair after he got now some added on. Now you don't disrespect right? LeBron. I'm just, I mean, he's got some fake hair you on You don't disrespect LeBron? I love LeBron. Let me tell you something, I mean, you, Brenner. Here's Jordan. Let me tell you something, Kobe, you, Brenner. Shaquille. The white Kareem, Charles Barkley. Let me tell you something. Larry Bird, LeBron. Le Let's keep it LeBron's straight. LeBron's the greatest basketball player ever in but, NBA history. Better than Jordan? Yes. Man, you out your fool, man. Absolutely. Right? First off, I'm this is a Jasmine Moss shouldn't be in jail. I've watched, she oh, should get some counseling. Should be in jail. Her daughter should get some counseling. But damn it, Michael Jordan is the best athlete, not just best basketball but player, the best athlete in the history. All them crazy broads athletes. in jail. Hey, man, how many of them finals? And that mama, too. How many of them finals LeBron lost? You ain't nobody hate him, man. That's your problem. You just how, how many? How many? <laughs> 